welcome back to Bear Tales. Now for today, um, I reached an impasse with my next bear project. Um, this is making the bear from scratch. And the reason being is I forgot, I haven't got any eyes for him. Um, the only eyes I've got are teeny tiny or for another project. So I've got to wait for those to arrive. Um, in the meantime, I need to make some adjustments to the template because this one is one I designed myself. I designed it based on Beremy. And now he's inside out, I can see there's a lot of, um, you know, I can see where all the joins are, the seams and everything. So I'm going to make some adjustments to it. And to do that, I'm going to go grab my sketchbook. So hold on one second. I'm going to throw things around and just grab my sketchbook and then I'm just going to adjust the camera angle so you can see what we're doing. Where are you? There we go. So. Let's get that. There we go. So swap these over. Well, that's got twisted. There we go. Just give you a quick look through my sketchbook. Now this is the one I got from Jazz's Pro Sketch Pack. Um, so some of this I've done on the channel, um, on the main channel, some of this I've done sort of in the evenings. This I did in the very first video. Can't quite see. Oh, there we go. That's better. So we got those from the first episode where I tested it out. Pre-sketches before, well, sort of as I designed Ez. And we got this guy from um, Nerdy Crafters Gaming Channel's Discord server. Um, she's been posting some art prompts. And this one was, um, you took three subjects, horned lizard, sloth, or sloth, depending on how you say it, uh, and panda. The detail was nerdy, and the habitat was a ghost town. And the idea is you combine it all together and you make a piece of art. And for this, I created this guy. His name is Hex, and he's chasing ghost Pokemon on Pokemon Go in a ghost town. Um, the second of these prompts that came up was, I unfortunately didn't write it down, but I think it was Skunk, Velociraptor and Scorpion. And I can't remember the other two things, um, but there's something to do with snow and ice. Um, but it made me think of the Scorpius Rex uh, in Camp Cretaceous. Uh, part of Jurassic, the Jurassic Park universe or Jurassic World universe, however you want to look at it. Um, so yeah, I just kind of drew, a, I think I called him Mark II of the Scorpius Rex, but there we go. So I kind of cheated, but kind of did my own thing as well. These are just some doodles of Patches, Eden and Ez. These are my punk bear sketches that I did and I will be making these guys at some point once I've um, got my template sorted. Now these, can't see those too well, but this is for the big project I've been mentioning a few times um, but I'll tell you more about that another time. This is my Pokemon Scarlet team. Um, it did actually change part way through um, and at some point I want to do some um, full pieces of my teams for all the Pokemon games I've played um, but some of these guys you know I've never drawn before and I just wanted to practice and I'm out of practice drawing Pokemon anyway this was Jazz's challenge Jazz's, bleh, Jazz's monster challenge and I've completely forgotten what it was because he did reveal it two weeks ago or two videos ago. I can't remember. And I've completely forgotten what it was. But it's something I've not heard of. Um, so, you know, my stitch page, which I've not finished because I need to outline the um, hibiscus flowers. 
but I'm really happy with him. Just, again, not drawn stitch for a long time. More character designs. This is Dexter. He combines three of my favourite things in this case. He is part Rottweiler, part Dragon, and then he wears a Pokeball on his collar. My Aussie friends. Wombo the Wombat, Bondi the Koala, and Zane the Tasmanian Devil. That was in my pyrography video. That's where I use those. Oh, and this was the planned sketch for my new channel banner, which I've not finished yet. Um, so far, we've only got Patches and Cookie in there. Oh, I think Eden might... Yeah, I've done Eden as well. But the thing is, because of how the YouTube banners work... Um, you can't see everything on every screen layout so that's why I did it this way so you at least got patches there and then yeah the others will get added and probably some others that I have you know newer characters like Cosmic Vineyard um, he might get added in at some point we shall see Dino Doodles this is Fjord and Fjord is like partners to Dexter as in he is my favourite breeder cat which is the Norwegian forest cat my favourite bird of prey which is oh crumbs got to think how to pronounce it so Gaia falcon I think or Gria falcon I'll stick an image up so you guys can see what I mean. And then on his collar, he's got a stitch, a little stitch head thing. This was me just doodling whilst watching, I think I was watching Jackie stream at some point. So I just wanted to draw Trash Panda, um, whose name is Arizona, and Poe is um, Tanukai, or Tanuki. I've always called it Tanukai, but whichever. And I just want to try and show the differences between the two, but, you know, it's not so easy in my style of drawing. I'm still practising. Again, another one I did whilst watching Jackie streaming, because ADC Art Attack raided us um, whilst we were all in there, so I had to do Bob versus Smelvin, because why not? some bird doodles character design i've got potentially for a video um basically there's something i want to give a makeover to kind of like the thrift store makeovers you see people do but husband doesn't think i should do it he thinks i should keep this particular item to see if it gains in value but mm, it's kind of not why i got it um i actually got it to use it um but discovered I don't really use it so you know giving it a makeover would make more sense again more character design this Junie Junie um, is a cross between a Siberian tiger I think I've forgotten which tiger I used I should have written it down um, and a Canadian timber wolf just like two of my favorite animals more stream doodles um this is my hogwarts page so my owl the barn owl which i decided to name newt i wanted to name it after my favorite harry potter character but uh it didn't really go um because that is remus lupin uh and i also finished my um i've completely forgotten what it's called potomob is it still called Pottermore or did it change names? I don't know. Whatever. But that thing we this you know, all know the site. We've got my um, Wizards ones, which was Applewood, 11 inches and unicorn hair. And I was interested to see that the Applewood ones are actually quite rare. So that was quite fun. And I have a crow for a Patronus. And I drew my Niffler, whose name is Sterling. Okay. Yeah. You might see him occasionally. In the background, currently wearing one of my necklaces, 
and my engagement ring so i thought that was kind of appropriate for him to wear um he does actually have a pouch um but i don't keep anything in it and he is so soft and i love him i've had him for a few years now uh, you can go back there say so, no okay he's not gonna stay and is that everything oh no another character design that's muffin muffin is a newfoundland and uh maple rosy moth thing again i'll flash up the image so you guys can see and this is something for a future project i'm quite excited for that's for a video that's not out yet or it might be depending when i release this uh vlog episode but there we go clean page and i've already been talking 15 minutes just a load of waffle really but yeah i'm just gonna very quickly sketch out Beremy and work out how we put him together so when i do my template again you know can get him i don't want my bears to actually look like Beremy. um you know overall i just want to see how he's actually put together that's sort of the main thing for him um rather than anything else it's just sketch lines i'm still figuring out how to sketch properly um i still haven't read the sketch guide from jazz's kit i know i'm terrible but sometimes i prefer doing to reading when it's something like that um but i really should read it because then i will have a better idea i know kind of where i'm going wrong um which if you've seen the video um on the main channel then you'll know because i mention it all in there so there is our bear roughly so let's see so we've got line going seam down there that goes to his muzzle so there's also a seam there this muzzle in i'm just gonna do that so i know that there seams now then this is a seam okay his ears are there that's why i drew them in chunky pen i don't know how much of this you can actually see it's actually raining today we're not melting anymore been fantastic there's that then next scene oh he's got scene back continues to there we've got our next scene which goes around obviously this is just like say the really rough sketch just so i can see what's what hopefully so the idea is once i've refined this pattern or template i will use it for all future bears that i make but i will adjust sizes depending on what i want so there is this one bear you know not one bear but hang on let me show you going back to if i can find the right page now there we go this page these guys i want to make in different sizes so some i want to make very small like this one i plan on making him maybe that big maybe blizzard size maybe a bit smaller we'll see um but others like him i want to make quite big um this is going to be interesting when i get to this project because half these names i can't pronounce or have no idea how to and i will probably butcher them um but i am really 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 excited for this project but like i say i want to refine the template i'm using um so they all look similar you know they'll all have their differences but i want their sort of base to be the same so this is all seam now this 
here we've got is a dart so I will just do that that so we've got seam coming off here and that's his leg he's got a dart there so this is front just mark that and he's got a seam there that's not a seam that is a seam but then he's got a dart going up there so that's that the seam goes all the way around and travels down i think that's yeah that's the seam as well so this is his foot and then at the bottom got extra seams so at the moment this kind of looks like a frankenstein thing but once this is sorted and i transfer it onto paper it should make more sense at least i'm hoping that it will I mean, it only has to make sense for me. It doesn't really matter about making sense to anybody else. So, there's that bonus. Alright, that's his legs. And we've just got to do his arms. So we got... Seam is there. You can see all the dust all over my book. From I don't know what it is about this fabric. It's a different kind, so... With Blizzard, this is anti-pill polar fleece, and I mean it might just be because it was really light colour and it didn't show up, but I didn't notice any fabric dust from when I cut it up. But since using both this and the blue, which are lambskin, I want to say, or lamb fleece, I can't remember what they called it, something like that, they actually... Um, make a whole lot of mess it's just like dust everywhere and i just found this and i have no idea where it came from it's from headphones i know that but i don't have any headphones like that so who knows and um, okay back to this line down there that's the seam got any darts up his arms no nope, that's all seams so that's good that one bit of a longer video today because I was waffling way too long. Okay, and now the back. So, there we go. Those shapes again. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not at this stage. The clutch gone. So that seam continues down the back of his head. And oddly, there are no darts in his head, which I thought there would be, but that's okay. This time, that one goes straight down and goes across the top. The other thing I'm hoping with doing patterns like this is that I will be able to make other things besides bears if I can sort of see the patterns. Um, that's the hope anyway. Because, you know, I'd love to make a plush of Ez. And obviously a T-Rex is a bit more complicated than a bear. Okay, so obviously being a builder bear, he's got his hole in the back. Um, which I think I want to try and replicate. So let's just 
you know, finding what's easiest for me. those notes and that continues down and his dart dart actually is sideways which is unusual but that's probably because he's got the hole in the back and oh that'll be where his tail goes anyway let me see Hang on. Yep, that's his tail. Okay. Make a note of that. Tail. That carries round. And go. So that should be enough. Arms are the same. Legs just straight seams, no darts this time, seam going that way. There we go. It's a mess, but it will do for a reference which is all I need at the moment so that's it for this one cups and we'll see you next time